Hello and welcome to day 177 of the New Testament in one year. We're in Acts 17 verses 1 to 21 and it starts with Paul and Silas. They're preaching in the Jewish synagogues and the message that they're proclaiming is that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. And we read that some Jewish people, many Greek men and women are saved here. But then there's also another group of, of Jewish people that really get angry and they want to stir up trouble and they, they cause this riot. One of the things that they claim about Paul is that they say in verse 7 there, he's defying Caesar's decree, saying that there's another king one called Jesus. Now, in the Roman Empire, Caesar really was Lord, and you know, people kind of worshipped them. And so for someone to be coming in and saying that there's another Lord, another Messiah, Jesus, is, is a huge statement and something, um, you know, you really, the early church really had to stand up for. That was their witness. And we read about it earlier in Acts 5, that where Peter says that we must obey God rather than human beings. And we've seen that throughout church history as well. Some key figures, Augustine once wrote that the earthly city glorifies in itself, but the heavenly city glorifies in the Lord. The one city loves its own strength, shown in its powerful leaders. The other says to its God, I will love you, my Lord and my strength. And Martin Luther also wrote, he says that we're not baptised in the name of kings and princes or people in general, but in the name of Jesus. I think that still holds true today. That actually, there's other things that that try and take, um, you know, what belongs to God. That tries to take that number one place. But actually, you know, when we follow Jesus, He is our Lord. He is that number one. And um, you know, when we make that that statement, that that claim that Jesus Christ is Lord, that's a that has power in that. It's a huge thing, and it's the way that we're to live our lives. And there's a huge commitment. I think I'm always inspired when I read the book of Acts. Just Paul and his team are always just willing to be sharing the gospel wherever the Lord might take them. They're sharing the gospel with those people, even in the face of danger. We read about here that they have to travel at night because of the danger. And Paul then heads out to the coast. He goes to Athens. And uh, we read here that when he's in Athens, he gets deeply concerned about the, the different idols that people have. And again, it's that thing of, you know, what are we placing in God's place today? What are those idols? And where can we once again come back to Jesus and say, actually, you are Lord. You are number one. And then we just read that Paul continues to engage with these local people. And we'll find out a little bit more about how he gets on in Athens tomorrow. But have a great day. And I'll see you soon.